cloudy world and man today we're talking about that man i show speed so recently it seems like that man i show speed just cannot be stopped anything he puts his mind to he does it bro he accomplishes it it seems as if he's one of these streamers that kind of broke through that invisible barrier of what streaming content or just being a content creator can do i just saw him on wrestlemania and it really kind of shook me that this man has such a global response and such a global amount of fan base to where this type of stuff and these type of you know canon events you know are just on a daily basis it really makes you want to appreciate and i don't even know if some people think of it like this but also learn and try to get an understanding of how the younger generation markets and you know figure out how to not only monetize but just socially put that air of their presence in you know media in the mainstream it's pretty interesting and when i look at i show speed and his growth it seems like just a few months ago almost a year ago he was dealing with a really serious issue where he had a really bad brain headache where half his face was swollen it was a really crazy random situation and i can imagine that when someone went through a situation like that they might not even want to interact or even talk to people or you know make those little aspects of just taking a step forward and talking to have a communication with you know their platform and not only did he not skip a beat but you know he kept being active he dropped a song he kind of did more collabs with kai sanat and some of the other bigger streamers it just really shook me about how this dude never took his gas off the break and i feel like when i see people like that who are at the top and you know really grinded and work for everything they've earned how they follow you know the practice of consistency hard work and dedication it can really be inspiring and can honestly show people and help people look at something for the better now of course people have their own opinions and own thoughts about that but when i look at streamers and you know this new age of these content creators you can't just ignore what they're doing and their impact even a little while ago when kai sanat was having people super duper active in new york and how he got in a lot of trouble with that and how he had everyone going you know bananas in new york like nothing was going on had the entire city shook it really showed just a small amount of how these new age content creators have so much power and so much control and seeing what i show speed does with his power and control and how he travels to different places learns a lot about the culture kind of gets you know his entire content kind of merged with the culture and shows love it's even really cool seeing like just the way he gives back and shows love to people it's pretty inspiring man i honestly really like to see content creators do this type of stuff even if it's kai duke a and p even when i saw a lot of their streams and their um viral tiktoks of them going throughout the small areas and the small cities and countries and small villages in africa and how they were giving away snacks and food and you know small little american treats the weed in the daily but could you know some of these kids have never had the opportunity to have them not saying they have less income or they're poor or whatever whatever but i am saying that some of them may have never even had a chance to eat a twinkie or you know have a little bit of something to drink you know you never know bro like there's so many different cultures and expressions and ways that people you know grow and you know communicate and stuff like that in life so it's really cool just seeing how a lot of these creators can work and do that type of thing and i see a lot of people that you know i don't really want to call them haters but you know people that have their thoughts about the content creators basically being that they're setting bad influences they can be negative and you know show a bad understanding of reality how people can look up to these people who you know could potentially be not good people and could have their children or you know whatever whatever looking at these people like they're idols and all those things can be true but I feel like that's a bigger issue with the internet as a whole than it is with streaming and content creation. You got to be a parent and be an active person in your children's life now. Because, bro, this ain't the old era, dog. Like, you got to be mindful of what be out here, dog. It's just how life goes. And I feel like that's such a serious thing nowadays where we see in different people how you never know what someone can see online. And, you know, you want to be interactive and engaged because, you know, when I was coming up, I saw some crazy stuff online, not because I was trying to find it, but you know, the internet is a big place. So when you, you, you just figuring things out, you're curious, you just looking stuff up. And so that's why I'm like, bro, a lot of crazy stuff with that, man. Cause that's why I feel like when people could see potentially all these horrible things, you got good people like speed and people like that, where they can get that entertainment and they can get that, you know, look from people that are showing a positive, not terrible, you know, way of impacting and entertaining people. And to me, that's just as important as you know trying to instill a lot of these thoughts and lessons into these people because 
sometimes you just need to have people have positive people to look up to or at the very least just positive er people to look up to you know ain't doing nothing crazy to me i feel like when i see speed and i see kai and i see a and p and i see you know all these big creators doing their thing you know even that boy that's gas them even that boy pr stone seeing a lot of these creators even on kicking things like that it just reminds me that you know everyone's just people fam people are just trying to do their thing you know get their bread up stack their cheese do their piece and to me that's real bro that's very real and that's some genuine stuff and that's why you know i don't really see no issue with a lot of these streamers and content creators because think about it like this what do we have when we're looking up like there were a lot of these people that yeah they played cool roles and did stuff on tv but a lot of them were some bad people in real life and so to me it's like there's a lot more options and a lot more internet nowadays where i'd rather these kids have a positive influence than you know no influence because we see when people don't have that have that lack you know of a figure of someone that they respect or you know appreciate it can cause them to do crazy things man i be telling people bro it is important to be in your jits lives man if you don't like these content creators that are you know feeding content and entertainment to the masses that are mostly you know y'all jits y'all gotta be more engaged and interactive with being in y'all jits lives because you can't blame them and say oh my kids watching this on tv oh so they went and did this where were you at were you just watching it with them were you engaged with them it's like you can't just throw a throw a what about what about isn't into the world because real life is that you have to do your part too i feel like a lot of the times that people be having these feelings with these content creators it's like bro where were you when they were all coming up because you only complaining because you've seen it in front of where you are you didn't care when it was everywhere else you only care now that it's in front of you are where it's in acting and you know making you feel a certain way and that's cool but be honest about that because it makes when people speak on these things feel so disingenuous because when if they felt so strongly with all these people doing negative things and content when were y'all speaking up before why is it always when it's someone that usually is a certain complexion does it, and then it becomes a big think piece it makes you just feel like you know so much stuff goes on that you never know what can happen, bro. And to me, that's why I feel like I just want to understand it more. And to me, I think that I show speed. And a lot of these other content creators aren't that bad. But Cloudy World, and I really want to know what you all's perspective is on it. Because streamers and content creators will always be around. Because Vine was a thing. That was a thing. Instagram was a thing. Like, it always comes back around in its own way. It's just a platform to facilitate social engagement. But what do y'all think, man, about people like Kai Sinat, people like I Show Speed, content creators that, you know, are really making a big splash and a big wave in their communities and are kind of branching into the mainstream? Do y'all like it? Do y'all dislike it? Do you think it sets a bad or, you know, a good president? Let me know in the comments. Cloudy World. And we gone.